The Pope is making this pilgrimage to the Holy Land to show our hope for Christian unity, full Christian unity in God's good time, but also to, to demonstrate the shared concern of Christians around the world for the life of Christians and Christian places in the Holy Land. We know that it's been a very difficult uh, number of years uh, since the State of Israel was created. There have been wars, uh, there have been misunderstandings, there have been injustices. People can't find work, they can't even reach other members of the family because of the, the wall that has been built up. Uh, it's keeping them out of, the, out of uh, Jerusalem, but it's also uh, separating their own lands and their own families, and this for the sake of, uh, of uh, security for, for Israel. Uh, you don't really imprison a, a whole group of people, a whole nation almost, as the West Bank should be according to the United Nations, uh, for the sake of, uh, of security on, on the, uh, and, and because of some extremism on the part of a few. The presence of Christianity uh, in the Middle East, even though a minority presence, uh, is and has been for many years a very important uh, ingredient for peace and harmony. And we say, you know, we build bridges, not walls. And uh, if, if everyone in that part of the world could, could realize that and how important the church has been, the Christianity has been and continues to be, but it's facing extinction right now. I don't think there's a more credible voice in the world today uh, than Pope Francis. Uh, he will be listened to. And so I think there's no better individual in the world uh, to bring some hope to both sides, to every side, that uh, we're all brothers and sisters, and we might as well realize that and start talking sense and start, start working together toward a peace because this situation can't go on indefinitely. <laughs>